How many of you even knew that there was a sequel to Dig Dug? How many of you were expecting a God of War 2 review today, since the God of War 1 review just went up yesterday? You know, before there was God of War 2, there was Dig Dug 2, Trouble in Paradise. And Dig Dug and Kratos have a lot in common. They're both badass maniacs who slaughter their enemies without mercy. Kratos chops their head off and impales them on something while Dig Dug inflates them with a bike pump until they explode. There's a bar somewhere where Dig Dug and Kratos are hanging out right now. They'd make a great team, and as Kratos has appeared in Namco's Soul Calibur, I'm hoping that Dig Dug appears in Sony's next God of War. You know that would be the greatest game ever made. But let's focus on this one, Dig Dug 2 for the Nintendo Entertainment System from 1989. A game that looks like a vast departure from the original Dig Dug formula, and it kind of is, but also not really. You have to get used to the fact that you're not digging underground in this game, even though it's called Dig Dug. You're setting off earthquakes at those special nodes in the ground. I'm not really sure what they are, like the dots in front of the lines. You have to connect them, and then that part of the island falls off. Who came up with this? It's so bizarre, yet amazingly addictive once you start playing it. It's not as good as the original Dig Dug, but much of the philosophy in how you play the game is similar because you get more points if you collapse enemies into the sea, rather than just killing them with a bike pump. They should have a balloon in the background with the Zorin logo. This game reminds me a lot of another game that has a sequel that nobody's really ever heard of, Joust 2. Like a completely different game than the original Joust that just never caught on. Dig Dug 2 is the same way, you just, you never hear about this game, and I only recently found it, and it took me a little while to get over the fact that you're not digging or trying to drop boulders on the enemies, but it's like the same concept, you're just trying to knock them into the sea. As you play through the game and the levels progress, it's harder and harder to knock specific chunks of the island into the sea. Sometimes it's not even clear how to do it right away. Basically, if you like Dig Dug, you should play this game, because it has all the same things that make it good, it's just different. I have to admit that there is a strange sense of satisfaction that I get drowning Pukas and Figars rather than just squashing them. I think it's the fact that they, they can't swim, so you know he's standing there just watching them slowly sink into the sea, screaming, giving them the finger. I'm Dig Dug. This is how I roll. This game is relatively easy to find and affordable for the Nintendo Entertainment System. I believe it was also originally in the arcades, and I think it may be on a compilation somewhere. But the NES cartridge that we're watching here looks good, plays well, and I'm telling you, it's a catchy game once you start playing it. Now they've made Dig Dug angry. Now they pay. Now you've got to be careful because as tough as Dig Dug is, he also cannot swim. Or at least his outfit weighs him down to the point where He's basically screwed if he falls in the water, so uh, just be careful where you're standing when you start messing with those fault lines. If he was really smart, he'd be in a balloon for a view to a kill of Pukas and Figars.
<laughs> the more I watch this, the more I realize how similar this is to the original Dig Dug, because the, the levels are always the same each time you play through the game, just like they are in Dig Dug. So you can approach them with a plan of attack. So eventually you get really good at just zipping through them, figuring out which, uh, which nodes to hit or which parts of the island to knock off right away. But later in the game it does become really challenging, as the islands are tougher to break apart and there's more enemies. I was not immediately impressed, but the more time I spent with it, the more I enjoyed the game. Dig Dug 2. Trouble in Paradise. There's always trouble when Dig Dug's around, you know that. All the food gets eaten, beer gets drank, and the cat disappears. Dig Dug's a menace.